I just want to go over your consents with you. You'll sign these before your surgery with Dr. Berger. The first of your two consents is the potential risks of surgery, and this lets you know that there are risks involved with this elective procedure, such as post-operative infection, um, any bleeding during or after the surgery, as well as short-term risks, such as a thrombosis or a phlebitis, okay? So please review this, and if you have any questions, you can talk to Dr. Berger about that. The second consent is an informed consent and a request for surgery. And this says that you understand that it is a mini laparotomy or an incision above your pubic bone, um, that you're aware that there are risks of surgery. We won't know if we can repair the tubes or not. There's no guarantee of that. And there's no guarantee that after we do repair the tubes that you can get pregnant. Um, also to let you know that there is an alternative of in vitro fertilization if you're interested in that instead of having tubal reversal surgery. So please review this and if you have any questions let us know. Uh, one question I have is let's say this didn't work and the in vitro could happen later on. Yes sir. Okay. Um, by having this surgery it doesn't mean that you cannot go through IVF in okay. the future Great. so it doesn't, doesn't negate the second okay. option. Okay. Any other questions that you have?